Testing three, two, one. Testing three, two, one. Uttar Pradesh, India, May twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. Ninety percent of the weddings are arranged in India. There was an upcoming arranged marriage. The bride, Surabhi, and her future husband, Mangesh Kumar, were at the wedding. They were just minutes from being man and wife at a Hindu ceremony. During the Jamala, the exchanging of garlands by the bride and the groom. Suribi collapsed. Doctors were called to treat her. She had suffered a heart attack and died. Mourning had begun. Not only has this man lost what would have been his future wife, literally dying in front of him, but Suribi was someone's daughter, sister, friend. Yes. She was someone's sister. She had a younger sister, Nisha. Someone thought it was a good idea if Nisha married Mangash. Both families discussed it. I'm guessing Nisha was okay with this, and just like that, it happened. Nisha would become Mrs. Kumar. But first, she was solemnized while Serebi's body lay dead in another room, and later Serebi was read her last rites. Fortunately, I was able to speak to an Indian woman, and I we spoke about arranged marriages because it was something that I thought like, oh my goodness, I could never ever do that. I could never just marry somebody, especially someone my parents wanted me to marry. I want to love this person, and I asked her. I said, "Did you love him?" And she said, "No." But later on, she did. She said, "You learn." To love him, she had two daughters by this man. He was a little bit older than her. Unfortunately, he did pass away. Her second husband, she said, she was able to pick her second husband, and I did understand a little bit more about the arranged marriage because she went more detailed into it and why it's done. But this here, I think, like wow. It's amazing, isn't that like a little bit disrespectful to marry your sister's、uh, fiance just so quickly? I mean, even if they waited like an additional month or two, what difference would it make? At least bury this woman, give her a proper funeral since she couldn't get her proper marriage. I mean. I don't know. I just feel some type of way, but I just think like, wow, it just happened so quickly. Unfortunately, Prince, the purple one, has passed away because if my sister was maybe about to marry him, I might have jumped up and did it had she killed over. But I mean, it's like, jeez, she she's like in the other room. I don't know if it was Michael Ealy, I probably would have done it. But this here was a little too quick. But I guess it really doesn't matter what I think. But it was a little, a little fast. I also read, and I'm looking to find the article on a mother that stopped her son from marrying her long lost daughter minutes before the ceremony. So that. Is also another amazing story, but that's a little bit more different than this one here. I mean, we have actually a deceased woman, but both families say that they wanted to be together. I guess they wanted to be conjoined as a family, so they continued the wedding ceremony. It is what it is.